We live in a world which is a fallen world. We live in a world where people die. They do not live forever. We live in a world where people get sick. And the reason ultimately is because of sin. Man has a sinful heart. Man by nature is not good. And so the Bible declares, cast away from you all your transgressions and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die? If you do not repent of sin, you will eternally die because God is holy. He must punish sin. God cannot just overlook sin. God is full of righteous anger at our sin. He must punish it. We all believe in justice. If we are wronged, we want justice. If someone steals from us, we expect the police to do something about it. Well, God is a God of justice and he must punish our sin. God's word tells us that all have sin. There is no human being alive who has not broken God's commandments. So all need God's mercy in Jesus Christ. Now the wonderful promise of the Christian gospel is this. God says, a new heart will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. If you turn from sin and trust in Jesus Christ, God will send you the Holy Spirit who will create in you a new heart. You will become a brand new person if you turn from sin and trust in Jesus Christ. But until you come to Christ, you are governed by the lusts and passions of a fallen nature. Until you come to Jesus Christ, you are controlled by a sinful heart. This is what the Lord Jesus said about the human heart. Out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. So all sin originates in man's sinful heart. And so all need to come to Jesus Christ for a new heart. So the Christian gospel declares, wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before God's eyes. We all need a new heart. And only Jesus Christ can give you a new heart. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Now, one of the major consequences of our sinful hearts is that they make us proud. People are proud of their own goodness. People are proud of their good works. People are proud of their religious duties. But pride is sinful in the sight of God. We must abandon pride. We must humble ourselves before God. Man can do nothing to make himself worthy of entering into God's presence. Fasting cannot bring one into God's presence. Saying so many prayers cannot bring one into God's presence. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can take you into the presence of God and so we need to understand just how serious the human condition really is man by nature has a wicked heart and only Jesus Christ can give you a new heart so we urge you come to him for cleansing come to the Lord Jesus to receive a new heart and this is why the Lord Jesus declared, you must be born again. To be born again is to receive a new heart in the power of the Holy Spirit. And that will only happen 
if you turn from your sin and trust in Jesus Christ for mercy. That is the only way you can receive a new heart. Amen. You must come to the Lord Jesus. There is no other saviour. So believe this promise of God's word. God says, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. If you acknowledge your sin and trust in Jesus Christ, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We are all governed by the lusts and passions of a sinful heart until we come to Jesus Christ. And so God's word says, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. We are all governed by these sinful hearts until we trust in Jesus Christ. If you're not a Christian, you're not free. You are controlled by a sinful heart. If you're not a Christian, you are in allegiance with the devil himself. Jesus said, he that committeth sin is the servant of sin. You are a slave to sin until you come to Jesus Christ. So we urge you, trust in the crucified Saviour. There is no one else who can take away your sin. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Who are the unrighteous? The Bible says every single one of us all have sinned. We have all hopelessly broken God's commandments. Can anyone put their hand up and say, I am without sin? You cannot do that. You, you have sinned, sir, in thought, word, and deed. You need a saviour. You need to come to Jesus Christ. You need to humble yourself before the holy God. You need to cry out, wash me truly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Are you aware of your personal sin? Are you aware that you have offended the holy God? You have a God-given conscience. Are you listening? to the voice of that conscience. You see, you're not a mere animal descended from the apes. You are a creature made in the image of God. You have a conscience. You have an immortal spirit. You need to be reconciled to your maker. And the only way to be reconciled is through faith in Jesus Christ. Therefore, we urge you, come to the Lord Jesus to receive a new heart. No one else can remove your sinful nature but Jesus Christ. When you repent of sin and trust in Christ, he sends the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, to dwell within you. You can have Jesus Christ living in your heart if you turn from sin and trust in him. So do not delay, arise, be baptised, trust in Jesus Christ for cleansing. Acknowledge your sin. Do not proudly think that you are a good person because you conform to society. God's word says, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. If you follow the crowd, you are rebelling against God. You may have lots of friends who are not Christians, but that does not make you a good person. You need to come apart and be separate from the crowd and follow Jesus Christ down the straight and narrow road to salvation and everlasting life. God's word tells us that the road to hell is a broad road. It's full of people. It's a very popular road. It's where most people go. But to follow Jesus Christ to heaven, it's down a straight and narrow road. And there are only a very few people upon it. So we urge you, come apart from the crowd and follow Jesus Christ. Come to the Lord Jesus and be washed clean <coughs> from all your sin. Come to the Lord Jesus, who shed his blood 
in the sinner's place. We deserve to die because of our sin, but the Lord Jesus died as the sinner's substitute, so that whoever believes in him might be acquitted and set free. So we urge you, do not delay. Come to the only Saviour, Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all your transgressions and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die if you do not believe in Jesus Christ? You will eternally die because of your sin. So we urge you, do not delay. This is the most important message that you will ever hear. People over the last two years have been so worried about a virus which has a 99.8% survival rate. But sin is a killer. Sin has a 100% mortality rate. Sin is the problem, not a virus. Sin is the problem. And only Jesus Christ can deal with the problem of sin. So each individual needs to examine his or her own heart and come in repentance and faith to the one who died on the cross, Jesus Christ. There is no other name under heaven whereby you must be saved. Now it's fashionable to say that all religions are equally legitimate. All religions lead to God. But Jesus Christ said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. Ignore Jesus Christ and you will not get to heaven. Ignore Jesus Christ and there is no other way to be forgiven for sin. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can take away your sin. And we all have sin. We all have broken God's commandments. There is none righteous. Therefore we urge you, this is the most urgent message you will ever hear. Believe in Jesus Christ, repenting of your sin. Modern Britain is in great rebellion against God. We've redefined marriage, contrary to God's law. Marriage can only be between one man and one woman. We encourage school children to pursue immoral lifestyles. We even tell them that they can change their gender. This is wicked. God has determined our gender and there are only two genders, male and female. That's how God made us. But this nation is in rebellion against God. And the only answer is for each individual to come in repentance and faith to the only Saviour who died on the cross in the sinner's place, Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ this day and you will receive the gift of everlasting life. Amen.